Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm gonna do this quick little Elite unboxing before I have to go to work. Um, I have not opened it yet, I don't know what's inside. I'm gonna get into this right now, but I wanna say just stay tuned because we've got some epic videos coming from Cabo San Lucas where we went offshore and got some cool fish. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, here's the box. Let's open it up. Okay, stand, still the same box as usual with the ruler and all that. Let's look at the contents. Okay, Whopper Plopper. I don't think I have one in this color, but this is, I think, something that every bass angler should have in their tackle box. Um, it's great. You can kind of uh, pop it or just reel it in and the tail spins and all that. Uh, it's a really, it's, I think it's just one of those things that is essential for every bass angler to have um, in, their, in their tackle box. So I'm take it out so you guys can see it. Here it is. And so... When you pop it, uh, not only does it have, you know, um, this tail that moves, so it would make a nice big splash just from the popping action itself, but this tail spins. So like I said, you can just reel it in and this tail will spin like a helicopter and create a lot of uh, splash behind it too. So this is just a, a great addition to your tackle box. Even if you have one, it's, not, it's good to have another one. All right, this is called Big O's Game Changer. The Eliminator. Okay, that's kind of cool. I wonder if they give you a um, anything to rig them up with. I'm sure they do. They always do. These are pretty cool. These are already kind of opened up. Yeah. There we go. Let me smell them first. Oh, dude, they, they stink. Okay, yeah, they definitely they have a lot of stink on them. So these, <laughs> I'm gonna throw this in just like this in my tackle box. These should be just fine. Uh, I'm not gonna whip them out right now. I don't want my house to stink and my wife to get mad at me. All right. Nice. That's a funny sticker. All right. Uh, cool. Perfect. I think I actually have the same one. No, no. Actually, I don't. I don't have one. Um, this should make a lot of this should make a lot of noise. I love when they have these uh, when they have two up there instead of just one. But this should be this should be good for this time of year actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, anything specific about these? No. Nope. All right. Well, that's cool. Still gonna use it. Okay, this is pretty standard. Can't have enough of these. They always get wrecked. Just upgrading their arsenal a little bit in this Elite box. Um, a Yozuri. Nice. Square bill. Crank. Perfect. Yozuri's really stepping their game up. I didn't used to like them um, and their baits. I thought they were a little bit too kind of fake, but they've really started to step their game up and you really make some really good base fresh water, salt water. Um, I really I really like them. So this is a sweet little bait though. Cool. I like the angle on that on the bill. Uh, let's see what it does. It only dives half a foot. This would be perfect for a four mile run. I don't know if you guys watching go there but Four mile runs pretty shallow, so this would be perfect. Wow, nice. Lipless crank. I can. I never. You can never have enough of these. I think they're great for the DC area. Um, cool colors. Definitely rattles, as you can hear. Sweet, love it. How much does it weigh? Three quarter ounce. Perfect. So it'll cast a mile too. All right. Oh, here we go. Gamagatsu. Um, worm hooks, so that'll be perfect. Perfect. I was wondering where those were. All right, big eye bucktail jig. Actually, must add, this is like for inshore saltwater too. Um, you could use this for rockfish if you guys are on the east coast. Uh, this is not just really for bass. You could use this for, for really whatever. Uh, just. Make sure you clean. I don't know if this 
what this hook is rated for, if it's rated for salt water or not, but maybe they have like a salt water version, but if you just wash this hook off and dry it, fine. You can use this for a long time. Must have makes good products. I didn't know they made freaking entire bucktails, but that's really cool. This is a good box. This is a really good box. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna stick with the Elite box. Um, I'm still looking for like an offshore box or a better inshore box. I don't, I don't, I don't see, I haven't seen any products um, from the other inshore boxes that I, I really like. Um, I know we don't have a lot in this area, but I, the offshore fishing, you know, on the East Coast is nice. We do have amberjack, we have, you know, big tunas, and I know it's mostly, you know, live baiting for big tunas and all that, but my point is that we, we do have offshore fishing here, so there's no reason that we can't have a nice uh, offshore box. Anyways, guys, like I said, stay tuned. Thanks for joining me. We've got some really cool videos coming up uh, in the next couple weeks from Cabo San Lucas. So I'll talk to you guys later. All right.